The heartbreaking loss of 13-year-old Hannah Jacobs, who tragically died from an allergic reaction after drinking hot chocolate from Costa Coffee, has been linked to failures in communication and adherence to allergy protocols, as ruled by a coroner. Hannah, who had severe allergies to dairy, fish, and eggs throughout her life, passed away just hours after consuming a drink that contained cow's milk on February 8, 2022. The inquest, conducted at East London Coroner's Court, disclosed that the fatal event resulted from a breakdown in precautions intended to protect those with severe allergies. Assistant Coroner Dr. Shirley Radcliffe indicated that the primary reason for Hannah's death was the failure to implement established allergy discussion procedures, along with a miscommunication between the barista and Hannah's mother, Abambola Duyile. On the day of the tragedy, neither Hannah nor her mother had the EpiPen prescribed to her for potential allergic reactions, a significant factor in the tragic outcome. The post-mortem examination revealed that Hannah succumbed to a severe anaphylactic reaction triggered by an ingredient in the hot chocolate. Hannah's mother described her daughter as lively, compassionate, and forthright, possessing a strong sense of morality. She expressed immense grief, stating that her precious daughter deserved many more years to live. In her statement, Ms. Duyile stressed her commitment to managing her daughter's allergies, which Hannah took very earnestly. The court heard that Hannah experienced an immediate and severe allergic reaction to the hot chocolate, which had been ordered with soya milk. In spite of her mother's request to wash the jug due to Hannah's dairy allergy, the staff at the Costa Coffee branch in Barking, East London, failed to follow their allergen protocols. The barista, Ermi Actor, confessed in court that she did not show Ms. Duyule the required book outlining dietary needs as per Costa's allergen regulations, mistakenly believing that washing the jug would suffice. As Hannah started to display symptoms of an allergic reaction, such as chest pains and swelling of her lips and mouth, her mother hurried her to a nearby chemist instead of administering the EpiPen provided by a nurse at the dentist's office they had visited shortly before. The inquest noted that this choice, along with the absence of an EpiPen at the chemist due to widespread shortages, contributed to the swift deterioration of Hannah's health. A witness in the chemist, Zenit Panerwala, testified that Ms. Duyile struggled to understand the severity of the circumstance, growing increasingly distressed as she comprehended the seriousness of her daughter's condition. Ms. Panerwala recounted how Ms. Duyile blamed Costa Coffee for serving the drink, becoming hysterical and repeatedly exclaiming, she's dead, she's dead. The inquest was attended by Nadim and Tanya Ednan Laparaus, whose daughter Natasha lost her life in 2016 after consuming a baguette from Prede Manger that contained sesame seeds, a case that led to significant revisions in food labeling laws. In a statement, the couple reiterated the critical need for heightened awareness and measures concerning food allergies, urging the government to appoint an allergy czar to advocate for the millions affected by food allergies and related issues. After Natasha's passing, legislation was revised to mandate all food establishments to provide comprehensive ingredient lists and allergy labeling on pre-packaged foods. However, the Ednan Laparaus family and other advocates contend that further actions are necessary to avert more tragedies like Hannah's. Hannah's family backed by their legal counsel from Lee Day, advocated for enhanced allergy training in the food service sector, stressing that it should not merely be treated as a tick-box exercise. They expressed gratitude to everyone who endeavored to assist Hannah, including the bystander, paramedics, and the coroner, but highlighted the essential need for systemic reforms to prevent such catastrophic incidents in the future. If you found this content impactful, please like and comment below to share your thoughts.